OpenAI new deep research is absolutely amazing, but you need to pay $200 per month to use it. So I want to show you a way to use deep research, but absolutely for free, uh, without paying the subscription at $200. The way we are going to do this is by creating an AI agent that will just search on the web. Um, and of course, you can specify the request you want and type the prompt. And during 15, 20, even 35 minutes, uh, the agent will just browse the web, grab all the information you need to build a complete report for you. So let's take a look at the structure of the agent. So first, of course, you will just ask a question, pretty much a prompt that you will just provide to the AI to start the work. Right. Then according to your own, uh, to your own request, the agent will figure out what to do. Of course, the first step will be to search some information right here on the web and it will just you know grab all this information and then just ask the question okay what's the next step do i need more information to complete and to write this report so again he will just search on the web etc etc and it's kind of a loop and as soon uh, as it has an oath information, it will just create an answer and give the answer to you. And you can do this absolutely for free again, and also by using Replit. So you don't need to, you know, set an entire development environment on your own machine. You can just do this on a web browser using Replit. So that's what I did pretty much here. And as you can see, it didn't work first try, so as I asked to replicate assistant to just debug my code. But that's another topic. The main thing is that as you can see, right here, I have this um, web UI where I can specify a task. Here, I want a complete report on reinforcement learning for training large language model kind of technical, but it's a base prompt and a pretty good example of what you can ask. And here it's the final result, right? And it searches for approximately 30 minutes or so, and I have a war report um, entirely made by the agent. That's just an example, but I want to show you how you can run it. So. In fact, you need pretty much one thing once you have uh, set up your agent. And I will provide the link of this replit uh, below so you can just fork it, duplicate it, and run your own. So the first thing you will need to do, and I will just clear this one to show you right here. Let's start from scratch. So the first thing is used that you want to move uh, on the right folder. To do so, just type cd web ui. Then you are in the right folder. And the second step is to run your web view. Because here, as you can see, I don't have my web view, so I can't type my prompt or anything. So the second step is just to type this command. I will provide it again below. So it's Python web UI uh, and a specific IP and port. It just allows you to run this web view again. So just run this one. And just in a few seconds, we'll be able to type your prompt and set up the LLM you want to use. So to do this, just take a look here on web view. And as you can see, I have my whole web UI. I can, of course, enlarge it um, let's maximize it so you have a better view make sure to just uncheck this uh, specific setting then 
here in LLM configuration, you will need to provide your own API key, right? Um, so on my side, I will use um, the Google Gemini API key since it's way cheaper than OpenAI. So here I'm gonna just select Google and then I will select the flash syncing experimental model since it's a better one for these specific tasks. And I will just here decrease to 0 0.8. It's perfect. And here, make sure to paste your own API key. So to find it, just go to ai.google.com. Then here, click on Get API Key, and you can generate one. So we we'll just copy paste mine right here. Make sure, of course, to not share your own API key. Here in browser settings, you can just set it as you want. Uh, on my side, it's pretty good. And here, the important tab is Deep Research. Here, just type your prompt. So it was the base one. I will just uh, leave this one for the example. And here on max search iteration, um, make sure to maybe decrease it a bit. Um, for example, I've set mine to 15 and 15 took approximately uh, 35 to 40 minutes to run to generate the wall report you saw previously. So just make sure to adjust it also according to the time you have. And then just click here on Run Deep Research. And as you can see here, right on the bottom right corner, you have the processing um, indicator. So you can just take a look at your agent here on output. As you can see, I have now a warm web browser and I'm not touching my mouse or keyboard anymore. And as you can see, the searching process is now running. So everything is running by itself and you can just work on another thing, uh, can play video games or whatever you want. And as the AI agent will just run by itself and you can just enjoy your full report in a few minutes. If you want to take a look at the steps right here in the shell tab, you have all the steps and you can also have some uh, fade results, uh, but don't worry, it happens and the agent will just correct by itself or um, search another uh, page to grab some information. So don't be afraid if you have some failed steps or anything. And that's it. You know how you can run your own AI agent to replace deep research for OpenAI and generate a wall report. Um, and again, you can do anything you want in the meantime. So that's pretty cool.